Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about some market movements that happened today with the new SBCs that came out on FIFA Ultimate Team uh, during this Carnival promotion. Today we had the Italian nationality uh, as a part of this promo uh, come out. So we got an Icon SBC as well as a Player SBC from the country of Italy and that player was Bonaventura, a pretty decent looking, solid looking center midfielder in the Serie A where there aren't a ton of center midfielders. I was just thinking about this. Um, it really makes sense why I actually saw a few prices drop today because this is just a good all around center midfielder that costs you about 90,000 coins according to Footbin. Uh, the, you know, if you have a Serie A team, you're going to put this guy in your team. So if you're a, a fan of the Serie A where you have a Serie A side and you, you have 100k, there to spend, you're gonna spend it on this guy. Pretty solid card, he's almost club 80, just apart from defending and, and physical, and he has some pretty solid stats. I think a lot of people are gonna do this card um, and put it in their teams, and that's a card that we can look to this week to uh, maybe purchase some weekend league flipping investments, uh, to some link investments to that card. I think a lot of people are gonna do it because it's cheaper, uh, and that's just kind of uh, like one of the missing cards that was needed in that league. I just felt like, uh, as I look through some of the midfielders, midfielders today in the Serie A, there just aren't a ton of them, and that's a really solid addition to that league in that position. Also, we got Del Piero today. I will probably end up doing this SBC um, during Team of the Season when I'm getting a lot of high-rated players untradeable from repeatable packs. Um, he does require a lot of informs. It's like two informs per squad, except the 88 is one one inform. Of course, you have the icon there as well. Um, so is it overpriced? I don't think so. It's about right. It's about 1.4 million for the SBC and his card's been about like 1.6 to 1.8. It was a lot more expensive earlier on when it first came out. Um, but this, uh, this SBC is not too bad. I wish they would have knocked off some of the team of the week uh, requirements. That would have made me want to do it more. But uh, that's a card I'm definitely going to be doing at the end of the year. I do have Vinicius, but I would gladly play this card off, uh, off Chem at some point or sub, sub him on uh, just because this card has some pretty, pretty insane stats, uh, I do think. 69 balance is kind of the only weak point uh, that he has. Not the best at jumping, but he's just going to be a center attacking mid that can pass, that can shoot. 99 finishing, like that's just spectacular. So it was a pretty decent day on the market. Not a ton of stuff moved. But I want to also talk about one thing, uh, uh, an SBC that came out today called, I think it was the Gladiators. Yeah, this SBC right here, which I have not done yet, and I will uh, do in this video, a rare players pack. So it's a 50K pack, and I kind of want to talk about what this SBC does to the market. This SBC costs you 8,000 coins to complete, so basically everybody's doing it, and they give you a 50K pack, which is a pretty good pack. So... We didn't get a lot of lightning rounds this weekend. We had lightning rounds on Friday, and other than that, we didn't actually have any other uh, lightning rounds during the weekend, which was kind of puzzling to me. I thought that EA would want to have more lightning rounds put out, and they didn't. Um, but this almost acts like a lightning round in itself, um, to be honest, because um, it's basically just giving out a free pack to everybody on the game. A lot of people, like I'm doing this right now, probably able to do it from their club just based on uh, cards they have in the club and the ability of, for them to be able to do that really fast and really quick you know it's just like a free pack that they put on the market and we really saw today we're actually going to go over to Footbin and check out the uh, Carnival players um, th this really impacted the prices of the Carnival players uh, because it was basically just a free 50k pack was given to almost anybody who who got onto the game today. So that's why I want to take a look at this and kind of talk through this with you guys. I don't feel like a lot of people often talk about this in the fact that um, when they give out very cheap SBCs with a good pack reward, a lot of these prices take hits. Look at Dybala for instance, 795,000 coins. Just yesterday, he was up here at 930,000 coins. This SBC comes out and he drops down to 780,000 coins at its lowest point. Go back and look at some other members of the team. Um, Gabriel Jesus took a hit in price. Now, I know a little bit of this is due to squad battle rewards, and there's a little bit of squad battle rewards that's built into this, but it's really not much because squad battle rewards was like in here. So you see that um, Jesus went down to 465, rebounded back up into the busiest part of the day to 500. 
and is now back down at 450, but is now actually back up 493. I think I have one listed right now at 493, so that might be mine uh, that is on the market. Actually, that's kind of cool. But um, a lot of these cards took hits today, and it was really t um, it was a good day to read these cards as well. You saw this Gabriel Jesus. He went down to 465 and popped right back up to 500. He went back down to 459, and f and now he's rebounding right back up, and you see he's currently at 493. So this, me, is telling that, hey, you know, Gabriel Jesus, he got a decent amount of supply on the market today, but he still has the potential to rebound and has that rebound ability because he is Premier League, he's a popular player, and he's got very good stats. Boosted card, popular card. Now, I want to talk about Leo Reese as well. This is a card that rebounds a lot. And this card, actually, I think people are really using this card. Before LaFont, that uh, foot future star LaFont, was the best card that was a Premier League, or excuse me, a French goalkeeper. He was the best French goalkeeper. And now this this Leo Reese card kind of takes his spot. So the LaFont card has dropped. This year, Reese card is rebounding a lot. So today, the pack came out. He went down to 148k in the two hours afterwards, and he's back up to 160. Um, but this is a card that I would expect to rebound a lot out of packs. He might not be the best in game. He's got really good stats, except for kicking. Um, but he's French, and he's 91 rated, and that's a card that a lot of people are going to use. Um, Pulisic really took a big, a big drop today. He is one of the more lower rated cards uh, in this promo and that really kind of just means you kind of look at his base card rating as well since his base card is a 79 the pack weight on that is a lot higher than some of these other cards who have a higher um in their are higher rated base card which usually makes them packed less often if they have a higher rated base card so this pure stick is lower rated he gets packed more and today from this SBC, he went from right about 200,000 coins down to 170, dipped under 170, which is actually he's right now at about 180. That's kind of a, that's an undercut listing right there at 170. So it just kind of goes to show you that these cards, they kind of resemble similar uh, things as the uh, as the Foot Future Stars did. Um, when we remember looking back to that promo, how those cards reacted. Uh, to a lot of market movements, it was honestly pretty pretty similar in the fact that they uh, they were pretty rare. Now these cards they haven't gone through any more than one lightning round, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, they've only been hit with one lightning round, so that really you know makes their supply a lot less. But also they're really good cards, and they're cards that people are going to want to try out and going to want to use in their teams. As I throw together this uh, SBC really fast. Uh, for you guys, but um, yeah, I think these carny ball cards are going to be great to trade with, and of course, the SBCs that I mentioned before are going to be great to to uh, buy link investments to as well. As we come up to another weekend league flipping period on the market, I'm going to finish up this SBC. We'll go open up the pack. I'll be right back. So there's the SBC completed. The gladiators. We're going to open this up. Um, I just didn't want to finish the SBC and try to talk while I was doing the SBC. I'm not very good at that. Um, but, again, I do want to revisit this SBC back here. Talking about, again, these link investments to these cards that are out in the game as SBCs that are popular. This Hulk card, I think there's going to be a lot of Brazilian teams that are going to be formed this weekend. Obviously, the French links to this Mendy. This Lombambe card, I don't think it has too much relevancy just because... Um, he doesn't play for a popular team, and there's not a lot of people that want to replace a left mid that they already have in a, um, in a League One team because that's Neymar's dominant position, and everybody wants to have Neymar. And then this Bonaventura card, I think, is getting going to get great links as well. Suso and Calabria, especially, um, maybe even Coutrone as well, could rise up because they're special cards out of packs that would link to this Bonaventura card. Also with that Bonaventure card, I made some moves today because of some market movements that I saw uh, with that card coming out of the game. Raja Nine Golan, his card, um, I guess, didn't really drop much on PS4, but when I checked it today on Xbox, he was down a good bit. Oh, oh man, I gotta buy that one. 149, that's still up? Yes. I was buying him at under 160K today. There was still one there for 158. I'm gonna let that sit, but that 140, uh, what was that 143, 149? That was a pretty good buy. Send that to the transfer list. That'll be a great flip um, after weekend league rewards, just because he is the one of the, again one of the best center mids in the Serie A. Um, special cards in form. So 
again this week thursday uh i'm going to keep mentioning this throughout the week um we got to look at these cards in sbcs to be good good ways to invest for this thursday's weekend league you know i already have some pogmas i have some ganduzis that i've had since this weekend league sell-off because when this mendy card came out i knew this was going to be very popular a lot of people were going to do it and of course, buying in the panic sell as well. So whatever SBC comes out today for Argentina, I think Argentina is the next one to come out. Um, let's say it's a Higuain. That would kind of be a big SBC that people uh, would, would possibly want to do. Um, I don't. Argentina looks a little bit uh, thin on the possibilities for an SBC. They're either going to go really big or they'll have to juice kind of a smaller player like a La Celso or a Pastore. Uh, but if Higuain gets an SBC, that would be pretty cool. Um, and I think it... People would be interested in doing that SBC for sure, uh, the man that just transferred to Chelsea. So that's one thing to look out for. Um, you know, maybe a link investment to him. You could get a Willian or uh, I don't think any, maybe a Hazard. You know, Chelsea fans out there building their teams. But um, I don't know if this card, would an SBC of this Higuain card would be, um, it wouldn't really cause that much panic on the market just because there's so many Premier League strikers that people would value ahead of him. Uh, so you wouldn't probably see a lot of panic selling with that. Uh, with that card there but i'm gonna just end this video off with the pack the 50k pack it hasn't been that long of a video it's just been a nice quick and easy market talk explaining a few things about these carny ballers i really like them to trade with i have flipped a few of them last night with squad battle rewards i picked a couple of them up and again i mentioned that jesus as well um so tomorrow again if we get another sbc like this where they give out a 50k pack i don't think they will um but we might be seeing one of the lowest points for these carny ballers this week uh, before Thursday rewards. Now, I think that's going to be the lowest time for this Carney Ball team. Sorry to keep you guys waiting on the pack, but I want to finish this point. I think this team of cards is going to be the lowest on Thursday at rewards, especially after what I saw last night with squad battle rewards coming onto the market. Um, that really gave a lot of these cards a lot more supply, and it started there. I could see there were just so many that came onto the market after squad battle rewards came uh, onto the game. So, Thursday, two to three hours after rewards might be the best buy time for some of these cards, uh, considering people might buy them up for the weekend league teams. And we'll talk more about Thursday flipping here in the next couple days as well. I'm planning on doing a foot birthday kind of guide video as well. So we're going to drop that this week. We're going to be opening a bunch of, uh, of the 81 plus packs this week as well. I'll probably group that together with my weekend league games. But let's open up this rare players pack. Excuse me, weekend league rewards, not weekend league games. Those are done. Um, no walkout there. We do get an inform though. You know what? We can take an inform. Switzerland central midfielder from Stuttgart, uh, Zuber. So an 81 rated inform, not too shabby. We will store that in the club. You'll take that from a from an 81 or for a for a 50k pack and also some 83s. Bonaventura himself. And a lot of duplicates because uh, I do have a lot of cards in the club like right now that are going to go into uh, into those SBCs. So keep trading, quick flips again. That's a great uh, great thing to do. And also when you see the panic sell like I did today on the nine golden, I mean that's a great opportunity to start picking up uh, your weekend league flips. Uh, you know you don't just have to buy your weekend league flips uh, when they reach you know on like a, a Sunday night when the market's really low from a panic sell. Uh, you can buy your weekend league flips at any point during the week. You just see the low price and buy the low price. That's literally all there is to it. When you see it dip down, you buy it up. I bought some Fernandinho's as well today uh, to end this to end this video off. We talk about this for a second. Fernandinho, um, I bought him today under 120k uh, because I think this card's going to go up a lot. He went down like another 10 to 15k today, so I don't know what that was about to be honest. Um, but I think this is a very good card, especially with a Raheem Sterling inform. And obviously, that's a green link to the left back of uh, Benjamin Mendy, who got that SBC this week as well. So keep trading, keep grinding. Again, get your coins liquid at the end of this week. We'll talk about that in the Thursday flipping video that will come out tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, might be a double upload tomorrow. We'll see what I can get out video wise for you guys. Um, in terms of videos gotta get a lot of info out there's a lot of stuff going on inside of fifa ultimate team busy time as always especially now with all these new promos and content if you enjoyed the video throw a thumbs up to it and uh comment down below if you have any questions subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the photo accountant catch you guys later peace out